Welcome to the 2015 Juno Awards. I'm your boy Chetto, the host and founder of The Come Up Show. Yo, Steel City, what up? Last time the Junos were here in Hamilton, it was 1997. And since then, a few big musical acts have come from the city, like the Arkells and Monster Truck. And now we got artists like TY who are coming on up in the Canadian hip hop industry. And we're gonna be covering the rap recording of the year and R&B soul recording of the year. And the homie Sun Real is also nominated for the video of the year as well too. We're gonna have fun this weekend. Make sure you holler at us and comment on the YouTube channel who you think should win the rap recording of the year. It's your boy Chetto. This is The Come Up Show. Let's get it. It's been 14 years since we've last been in Hamilton, but this city is no stranger to Juno celebrations. It's one of the most visited cities in Juno World history, playing host to the Junos already six times. I'd like to thank Tim Potisic and the entire Hamilton host committee for their tremendous efforts and dedication. Yes, absolutely. They have been the most engaged and supportive host city committee we've ever had. So much so that they actually inspired us to create a new tradition. It's called the Host City Juno Award. And this award symbolizes a passing of the torch from one host city to the next and a commitment for them to support music and culture in that host city for 365 days a year. So to Mayor Fred and the people of Hamilton, thank you sincerely for everything you've done. Hi, yo, it's your boy Chad over here at the Junos, the homie Jordan, man. How you doing, brother? That's good, Chad. I'm good, man. How you been? Bro, been a while. One of my first memories I remember about you is London, Ontario. Yeah. The Embassy. Yes, sir. Touring with Classified and Half Life. Yeah. Like, That's a time ago, right? Time ago. Most, no, most like, of the people that are checking you out that know Jordan right now, like the abbreviated JRDN, yeah. don't know about those days. What, 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 what would people, what would you tell people about the Jordan Croucher days? Like back Half Life oh, and touring with Class and Luke and all those guys. Well, that was like the beginning, really, for me as an artist, you know? So those days were fun, man. We had a lot of fun. That's, man, that was almost 10 years ago, right? It's almost 10 years ago. Yeah, that's crazy time flies. But no, that was that was, you know, beginning, you know, touring around around Canada with class. We had a lot of fun, man. It was dope. Has uh, having a child and offspring like do you think it's going to change your music or your creation or you as a musician in any way or have an influence? It already has, man. Yeah, it definitely already has. Like you know, in the past, you know, you use words loosely, you know what I'm saying? You know, I I've been writing for about 10 years now, 8 9 years, almost 10 years and She's already changed my life. Just, you know, I just want to make sure that, you know, when she gets older, she can appreciate my music and it, it has a, a positive effect on her life. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was talking about that last record I just released. You know, I probably won't play that one for her until she's older. <laughs> but yeah, no, definitely, man. It's, it's definitely a, a joyous occasion. So it's not often that I'm in a suit. You know, usually when I go to weddings or a special occasion or whatever, and uh, I always need help with tying the tie. And honestly, I don't think I want to learn. I know there's YouTube videos that exist out there, but I think it's always so fun when I get someone to help me. I'm like, yo, I don't know how to tie a tie. Or I find someone random just to help me on all and all that. So today, when I was in the car, when I picked up Eddie, uh, he just learned how to tie a tie. So he's going to help me to learn how to tie a tie. Yo, Eddie, come over here, man. Let's, let's figure this shit out. Danger, that's a joke. Jesus in a manger, that's a hope. Can't be me, I'm lost in a massive cloud of smoke. 
I know my pops, I'm a bastard though. You back in my life, you heard the classic flow. I understand my father to that man. We need help on how to tie a tie. Guilty like you owe you some dope. Whatever's clever. You come be like a Bill Cosby sweater. I stay true, you went all day to get her. Get it together, that whole facade is lame. But I feel good when my niggas tell me rich, you the same. My fashion, my passion, my cash might change. I am who I am, motherfucker, I'm strange. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now we're ready for the media. <laughs> I do this for the loss and the scourge. Want nothing more than to watch someone flourish in the land where few swam across from the currents. One man made it off his endurance, earned his hand on a torch anywhere it's been carried. Can't wait to know more folks married than buried, but the fairy tale ends where reality starts. Here in the hip hop mecca of Hamilton, Ontario, and the winner of rap recording of the year is Naturally Born Strangers. The legend Lee presents Naturally Born Strangers. <laughs> First of all, before I even get started, I just want to thank um, all the nominees and, and once again, like just everybody in Canadian music in general. Can we just like give a round of applause for that? Um, I would like to thank uh, Brian Espiritu especially because like he's the one that literally put this collective together is between me, Adam Baum, and um, Rich Kid, who's not here today. Shout out to Rich Kid. Um, the project came together, it was just a collective of bringing our fan bases together. And again, when we had first started this project, if anybody had even mentioned the thought of like getting nominated for a Juno, you wouldn't have fathomed it. So again, like I would like to thank everybody that was involved in it. Addy, Rich Kid, again, District Entertainment, Rosie, Adam Baum, and once again, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry, I won't make this long for you guys. I got to read something on behalf of uh, Rich Kid, who played a big part of this album. So uh, he has a lot of things to say. He's actually out in Los Angeles. Before I do that, I just want to thank all my people, my friends, my family, Melville Avenue, Freedom Riders, uh, Decisive, uh, definitely the Naturally Born Strangers. Definitely my mother. Definitely all you guys for coming out tonight and for making this scene something special. It's an honor to be around talented people like this. So this is Rich Kid's message. I've never read this before. It's probably ridiculous. Here we go. Thank you, Junos, for nominating me and my drinking partners. That's right. Uh, I wish I could be there to accept this, but I'm in Los Angeles, currently on the beach, not freezing my backside off. I'd like to thank my mom, my team, my neighborhood, Ridgeway, and Carly Rae Jepsen for being so damn fine. <laughs> idiot. Uh, I hope they're serving steak. <laughs> I, ho I hope they're serving steak this year at the gala. Uh, aim and shoot for the stars. If you don't make it, you'll land on Uranus. I love you all. Love Don Poppy Chulo, Rich Kid. We love you. Naturally Born Strangers, Juno 2015. Beautiful. <laughs> Mom's a bitch and moan, is he dumb or what? Why's my son come home when the sun comes up? Why is he stoned, why is he drunk as fuck? Told her not to worry, I'd be rich before I got to 30. Then I turned 26 in an awful hurry. Four birthdays since and I'm off the journey. And won't search for new work less I'm lost in Jersey. Then they wonder why I'm sauce this early. Look up my conscience. Think I'm rich on that feet. He's fucked up, and I knew he's fucked up. You're a fucked up guy, bro. Leave, leave Carly Rae Jepsen alone. I want to, you dog. Leave her alone, bro. Rich Kid, Tona, Adam Bomb, those are my dudes, man. Like, those are like some of the best rappers in Canada. I learned a lot of what I do right now off of Rich Kid, man. Rich Kid is one of my favorite rappers in Canada. And he also produced some on my EP that uh, is coming out in April 27th uh, for the town. He produced on there. And um, he really taught me a lot about how to be a rapper and how to uh, 
write better songs and how to be better in the studio and stuff. So I owe a lot of my, uh, a lot of my success to him. Uh, Adam Baum, Tony, all these are people that I like. I've looked up to for a long time and worked with for a long time, and uh, I got a ton of respect for them. So, uh, Rap Recording of the Year Award 2015 goes to Naturally Born Stranger, Adam Baum, Tona, and Rich Kid. How are you feeling about that? I feel great, man. That's the fam, you know. Like, those guys are hard workers. They like made a great album, and it's nice to see that that actually gets recognized, especially by an organization like Karis that maybe isn't as on top of hip hop and they don't really know what's going on. So in, in these kind of cases, you always expect it's gonna go to whoever has the highest profile because the awareness is up. So in this case, not that their awareness isn't up, but they, I think they had the best album. So I'm really happy for them, man. I think it's dope. Awesome. It's, it's always good when you see peers who work just as hard and get that recognition as well. Is it maybe a little bit inspiring or motivational or you're like, I don't care, I, I care, I just want a winner as well too, or I should have been nominated? No, no, I don't think, I don't, it's never like that. Like, and it, it's always, each thing is always based on its own merit. And I mean, I, I could, I can be nothing but happy for it, you know, totally. I think that Tona needs to respect artistry and give it to me. You feel me? <laughs> Competition, we love to win. It's a, it's a great thing to just be celebrated in your own hometown by your own people. We've done a lot of back-to-back -back shows that the, the turnout was a lot more than expected or that it even has been in the last 10, 20 years. The, the, the feeling behind the project was something new and something different. When we were getting into uh, other projects prior to this one, you know, there's always the, uh, you get a lot of desperation, like, is this going to be worth our time? And when you put it out, it kind of fizzles into nothing. This keeps getting bigger and bigger every time. Uh, you know, every time we, we did another session, it became another bigger thing and even bigger than what it was supposed to be. It was just supposed to be a soundtrack to some clothes yeah. that were being put out. And like for this to be this, to be this, it's amazing, man. It's incredible. Well, as, as, uh, as simple as we make it sound on top of that, like a lot of us had to sacrifice. I just mentioned this. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of us have to sacrifice a lot just to like, I sacrificed really a good job that I had at RBC just <laughs> to do this album because, you know, I was leaving those sessions at 5 a.m. And then like, you know, I, just to be completely honest, like a lot of alcohol was involved. And then I would walk from that studio over to my job and then like, it didn't take long for them to catch on and be like, you don't want to be here. So yeah. it was good that we so, found somewhere else to be. Yeah, the, the, literally we sacrificed a lot of hours and we put a lot of time into it. So it's, you know, it's like, it's very rewarding to see like, you know, the, any acknowledgement on any level. For sure. When you get involved with a group of people where nobody really does the exact same thing you do, it's so good because I know that, you know, some of my weaknesses might be, you know, choruses, let's say, but I know Rich Kid can absolutely demolish that. Or if, you know, we can't come up with a concept between two of us, we have that third person, sometimes four or five people. So the ideas were just flowing. Plus we had the directive of uh, Brian B. Espiritu, who does the clothes. And when he started coming up with the uh, the idea behind the project, all we had to do was paint by numbers at that point. And, and it just came all together really fluently and really easily but it was a it was a good time in the studio if you could have been there you would have had the best time of your life <laughs> four or five in the morning like you said it was yeah. worth yeah. leaving a great job for it was insane this is the come up show Juno's 2015 Hamilton I got Tona I got Adam Baum two-thirds of naturally born strangers they won rap recording of the year of 2015 they are in the books with Maestro Fresh West, Cardinal Fischel, The Rascals, uh, Shaclair, Shad, Classified, Drake and so much more so how does it feel like when we go to UK Wikipedia probably by tomorrow your name is in history now as 2015 how does that feel Tony? It feels great man like yo um, a lot of people that know me know I've been doing this for a long time and I've had my you know what I'm saying? I had my quarrels with hip hop, whether or not I even wanted to do it. Like, yo, it was just like, it wasn't even an acknowledgement thing. We weren't doing it for accolades. It was just one of those things where I wasn't feeling inspired to make music. Now that I'm back in it, when I got actually with this group, I'm super inspired to write again. Super inspired to show up to sessions. Like, just everything just came together. So, like, naturally, we just let, I, and, you know, things happen when I just let the universe do its thing, man. I just stopped, like, relying on myself and stopped relying on other people and then just let the universe Universe taking control of the wheel. And we're here now, man. You probably never imagined that you'd win a Juno Adam Bomb, especially, right? Like, uh, some rappers are playing rappers probably mad at you. That guy won a Juno. When's the last time he released his own solo project? <laughs> I'm not mad at them if they say that. 
<laughs> I'm not mad at that. If they say that, I'd be like, you're 100% right. I have zero reason to be here. But yeah, even like to touch on what Tona was saying, when we recorded the first record of the Strangers album, it was actually the first record that's on the album, which is The End. In my head, on the way to that studio, I said, if I put down this verse and in my head I feel that it's garbage, I'm going to ask these guys if I could step away and I probably would have stopped writing all the way through completely. I probably would have stopped. I'm not saying that it was the greatest thing ever, but it made me say, yo, I was happy with this and I think I'm still on to something. And that feeling went into Jameson Ave, which went into the rest of the album. Everything we did, the No One Knows My Struggle, all those joints went right after the next. And as they were coming together, I was like, I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. From that album, was while it was being recorded, I said, this is what I'm going to do. And from then, it's been every day, thinking of rap, recording, performing, doing our stuff, getting our business together to make sure that this happens on a consistent basis, no matter what the combination of the album is. If it's another MBS album, if it's a Freedom Rider album, if it's a Me and Tona album, if it's a solo album, whatever it is, it's not going to stop now. And I, it's not just because we got the award, but the award was a good sign that we're in the right direction. You know what I mean? So it's a beautiful thing, man. It's it's so crazy how you can go from, like, is this a pointless endeavor to this is exactly where you're supposed to be in life. So, you know what I mean? It's beautiful. I wanted to win. Fuck all that. I wanted to win. You get me? When you think about it, though, this is like your debut album. So it's kind of an honor to be already nominated for the Junos. You're going down in history already for that. You're a Juno nominated artist. Yeah, no, when I was making the album, to be honest, I was not thinking about a Juno. And that's no disrespect. That's just in the sense of I was like, I make music for me first, the people listening second, and all of this afterwards. You see what I'm saying? So it's like when I was making it, I wasn't thinking about nobody. I was locking myself in rooms in, in the diamond factory and in, in, in my little apartment and whatever for months writing and, 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 and producing this album. See what I'm saying? I recorded it a lot of myself and it was just really a labor of love. You feel me? So like just even when the nomination came through, it was crazy. You feel me? But I still think niggas should respect artistry. <laughs> But um, yeah, no, it's dope because like this is like this to me this is like the sickest shit in the world because in Canada we don't really get to assimilate as musicians. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't get to link up with each other, and I say this over and over and over again. But there's no reason just because I make what I make and somebody else makes what they make that we can't link up and be positive as Canadian musicians. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, that's I'm happy about being here for that reason especially. So many people that I would never get a chance to talk to or speak to, I got to. Right? So that's 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 what that's what makes me happy about this. Yes, we're here at the Junos and look who I bumped into the homie Sunreal. He's got a little bit of a tan. He's been touring like he's been touring like how long has it been now? Like you've been touring nonstop in the States, man. Yeah, I've been. I did like 130 shows last year in the United States, and so this year you were nominated for Video of the Year for Preach, uh, which uh, KZL won, and uh, Everywhere We Go was a huge video as well too. What is the direction that you're gonna be taking with videos, from what you've learned from the like, past couple of big videos that you've had? We never like really like tried to like. I was never trying to make like viral videos or like videos like I was never. I never went into a video and been like, "Yo, we need to make a viral video. We need to make something that everybody's gonna feel and shit like that." It was always like, um, we just want to make the best shit that we can make and try and be as real to ourselves as we can and be as creative as possible. And um, I have a vision that's much bigger than where I'm at, and I think that's something that continues. Uh, continually uh, like makes me strive for greatness and strive for more than where I'm at. And um, that's kind of where we're at with our video stuff, man. We got a lot of video stuff on the go. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited for what we have in store for you guys. Everybody that's watching this, everybody that's watching this, we got a lot in store for you guys. So. What, do you, what do you think the Junos mean to a Canadian artist, you know? like? This is not an easy industry to be in, especially as a Canadian musician. But when you're here for a weekend and you're celebrating and you're everyone's together, like what what does that mean to you? I mean, you get to you get to do a lot of networking and um, you know you get to you know really mix and mingle with people that you you wouldn't get to year round. That could create opportunities for artists, especially you know for Canadians. This is dope because this is you know the highest stage that of, of excellence that we can we can you know obtain here in our country and you know being from Canadian you got to be proud of that to be invited and be you know honored it's an honor honestly so yes yeah, it means a lot 
majority of the artists that are in the building right now, you feel me? Like I wouldn't really have an opportunity to, to, to meet them and converse with them. And obviously as a rapper, like there's, there's negative connotations and stigmas that come with being a rapper or just being involved with hip hop music, right? So it's like, um, and, and worse off man's black already, you feel me? So it's like, you know, it's like people, it's dope to get to, to connect with people that you wouldn't get to connect with. Right, so that's cool, and you never know where those connections could lead to. That could lead to a studio session, or them introducing you to somebody else. That could lead to something else, or a studio. You feel know me? So yeah, it's a good thing. So does it teach you? Look, admit, like obviously that sounds like you're you're stepping maybe a little outside your comfort zone where you wouldn't done that, and especially like I wouldn't uh, say that. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. say that because I, I I feel like it it might be everybody else's comfort zone. My comfort zone is the world. You feel me? Like anybody that knows me or takes me in or, or pays attention knows that I'm all about diversity within music and you know just sonically so so I, I accept everybody and 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 it's it's never been one of those for me so it's like my, my, my mind and my ears have always been open but you know maybe the world has not been open to me ah, ah, ah. Saturday night you just won rap recording of the year what's your drink of choice for the rest of the night Jameson Nav I got a bottle cracked open ready to go in the hotel room we are going to polish that off before we start drinking tonight that's what we're doing as soon as we get back to the spot man yeah what's what's your tiger blood tonight tiger blood <laughs> that's exactly what it is it's tiger blood for those that don't know it's the Hennessy is right you mix them together and it turns reddish so we just call that tiger blood you know? it turns burgundy actually to the people who are watching right now, who downloaded, who supported the music, what what do you want to say to them right now? Thank you, man. Like, again, I always thank, like, I make sure that every fan that reaches out to me or anybody that likes anything that I do, I take the time. I just sit there for an hour replying to texts or emails. I just make sure I do that because you guys don't understand, man. Like, you guys are really, I always say much appreciated. Like, people always rag on me for always saying that, but it's there's no other words I could find for, like, describing a feeling man like I really do appreciate it man like I just can't even tell you guys anything else so I'm gonna continue to do it as long as you guys want me here as long as my brain is functional enough to like put rhymes together I will always be able to do that for you guys man you know what, anything that you want to say exactly what he was saying man it's just a beautiful thing anytime you know somebody has the chance to listen to anybody in the world there's so much music out there at your fingertips that you can listen to the fact that one of the things that you thought up in your head is something that somebody else chooses to listen to that day it's insane to me and every time i hear it it doesn't get old it doesn't get even if you say something like much appreciated every day it's not something that's just a routine thing to say it's a shock every time you hear it like yo i listened to your record yesterday it's it's something i really like and you know i just want to say i appreciate you making music when you say that much appreciated back it's an honest thing man and it's genuine if there was new words to use i would come up with them but i just say much appreciated respect and i'll see you soon and you know it's a beautiful thing man i wish i wish brian b was here he's a lot more eloquent than i am so yeah i mean he would probably have a better answer for most of these things rich kid would already have killed it but i'm glad that i'm here with my man tona and like yo i'm glad we're here with you chetto man it's cool to see this come full circle man i didn't expect that. first of all for the people the section that we're in right now we're not supposed to do interviews this is what hip-hop does it comes in it doesn't follow the rules i'm getting this interview right now this is what we do right so tona once again congratulations congratulations my d Adam Bomb, congratulations. This is the Come Up Show, Hamilton, Steel City, Junos. We out. Yo, Tone, I'm out here rich, and it seems like they ride it.